All right, let's turn our Bibles to Mark chapter 11, verse 20. And we're praying, we're talking about um, result-oriented praying. Result-oriented praying. Result-oriented praying. Result-oriented praying. Mark chapter 11, verse 20. Now, the first error in prayer is to think that because you pray, your prayers will be, will be received. No, no, not all prayers have meaning. And that's why you have to ask. The reason why is just you have to ask. Not all prayers have meaning. How do I know that? Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 7, the Bible says hypocrites, hypocrites love to pray. Have you seen that before? Hypocrites love to pray. The Bible says so. Bible says in James, he says, you ask and, and what? And receive not because you ask what? Amiss. So if it's possible to pray a prayer that doesn't make any difference, then it's possible to pray prayer that makes difference. Because a lot of Christians are frustrated because they think, they're thinking, I was, I was really praying for a husband, where is my husband? I was really praying for capital, where is the capital? I was really praying. And let me tell you something. If you, if you don't have more results than me in prayer, maybe you should listen to me when it comes to prayer. I, I may not be as rich as you are. I may not know as much medical science as you know. But I have loads of results in prayer. Either in my personal prayer or I'm praying for people. I have loads. In fact, everything you see around me is a function of prayer. Just be, because once you don't, Nothing encourages people to pray like answered prayers. And the frustration people have in not having answered prayer is the reason why they eventually stop praying or they stop believing in the power of prayer. So it's great for you to be challenged to pray, but one of the most important things is to teach you practically how to pray prayer that can move things. How do you pray for promotion? And by December, it happens. Let me tell you something about these things here. The first thing is this. I'm, you know, let's just start dispensing. Many of you think this way prayer works. Your prayer works like, you know, like um, request. You pray, an angel will take you to God, and he will say, um, this is it. That's not how prayer works, though. Let me ask a simple question. Please stand up. Since they said you can't come, they've told me that I should not be touching people. So, please stand. My brother, when you eat, does your food digest? It does. Who is responsible for digestion? Who is responsible for God? Is it God that made it digest or is it not God? Is it God or not God? <laughs> just, I just want to know. Is it God or not God that makes it digest? Huh? It's God. So, every time you want, your food won't digest, God says... Oh yeah, food. <laughs> Is that what happens? What happens? You can have your seat. What happens when it says God made it digest in the same that God is responsible for everything? But what really happens that God has put a system in place in your body that that food digests automatically. That's the same way prayer works. Prayer works based on system. It's a combination. Once you get it, bam, it enters. If you don't get it, it keeps bouncing. So it's not as if God sits down in heaven and the only thing is that, let's say yes to this, no to this. No, 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 no. God doesn't do that at all. God is a God of systems. How do I know? It's very simple. If you ask according to his will, we know he hears us. He tells you, if you are able to press the right combination in prayer, you will have the result. He says, the reason you've asked is that you ask amiss. So that's why you have prayed and prayed and prayed and the marriage is not coming because you keep asking amiss. That's why you have prayed, you know, and many of you have gone to a place where you're like, I can't even keep myself. And you have lost faith in prayer itself. So today we want to learn how prayer works. Mark chapter 11 and verse 23. The background of this story is simple. Um, Jesus Christ has spoken to the, to the fig tree a day before the fig tree had dried up. So the Bible says in verse 22... And Jesus answered, said unto them, Peter had called their attention to it. It says, have faith in God, for verily I say. So let me show you something. They had seen what just Christ did, but Jesus Christ in verse 22, 23, and 24 began to explain the principle behind the result. You can even have results and not understand the principle. Are you hearing me? 
That's the truth. But once you don't understand the principle of the results, you cannot replicate it. That was why every time Anna went to pray, we learned the last week, went to pray, Anna's prayer could not be answered the way she was praying. There was a reason why. She would pray and pray and pray, but always leave the place sad. The reason why is that for prayer to work, it's based on faith and belief. The day she prayed, and faith came because of the word of Eli, and her countenance changed that month she conceived. Because something fundamentally changed in her approach to prayer. And let me tell you how you know you're praying in faith. If you pray and you live the same way you prayed, you have received nothing. Glory to God. So verse 22, And Jesus answered said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever, see what he said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith, he shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Verse 24, Therefore, meaning that on the predication of what I thought in verse 23, verse 23 is the principle of faith. Verse 24 says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire. That's the first piece of prayer. He said, the first thing is this, therefore, your prayer must be based on faith. And that's why when people want to have accidents, they will call Jesus from now to eternity. never works. You know why? The calling of Jesus is out of fear. He says, the way it works, they asked Peter in Acts chapter 3, how did the man walk? Peter said, through faith in his name, not through fear in his name. So, either you call the name of Jesus in fear, there's a clear difference between calling the name of Jesus in fear and calling the name of Jesus in faith. It's not the name itself. It's faith in the name that does the work. So, the Bible says this. We're getting there. It says this. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever. Now, take note of the second piece of prayer. What, what? What, what? No, please, can you speak out? What, what? What things soever. In this prayer, you cannot use this prayer for human beings. Because this prayer says, it says, what things soever you desire. It said, this prayer works with things. You cannot, no amount of prayer you can command and say in the name of Jesus Christ, I receive you in Jesus' name and I will marry you. You can't receive like that. This, and and this, is, this is what people don't know. This is why when it comes to things that affect other human beings, the prayer is different. I will teach you about that one. That, that's why some things are stubborn. Because when it comes to human will, God cannot by himself superimpose on human will. So the way we pray about human will is different. So when you have an attack in the office by people that come to arrest you, you can't just say, I command them. You can't command human will. That's why things like Boko Haram are difficult to deal with. Because it's not just a demonic issue. It's human will. So demonic influence and human will combined. No matter the prayer, you can't command this brother. You say, I command you to marry me. What kind of prayer is that? So he says, the, what? He says, what things? So the prayer refers to things. Now see the next thing. Say, what things soever ye what? What things soever ye what? This is the first prayer of prayer. He said, what things soever you desire. Listen to me, everybody. Most people, when they pray, never pray their desires. I'll give an instance. You will see a woman that's had many miscarriages. What do you want? I want to get pregnant. Lady, you don't want to get pregnant. What you want is a baby. That's why you've gotten pregnant four times and they've all been aborted. They've all had miscar miscarriages. Because all you have been asking for all the time, I want to get pregnant. And you think God has not been faithful, but God has been honoring you. Because all you have been saying was, I want to get pregnant. So when you say, I want to get pregnant, what happened? Angel finishes his work. Angel just said, okay, yes, work done. But you've been losing the baby. That's why some single ladies here, the same thing. Father, just give me a great guy to marry. Great is great very. Great means it can be useless in the head, but great in football is also great. Is it not great? Great means it can have six pack, but there's no money in the pocket. Is that not also great? He said, some people, are, some people look great, and that is the look is great. But you will not say, God, why? It's not God, why? What do you ask for? He said, whatsoever you desire, you ask for great. So great is subjective. 
You are praying for your children. You say, I pray my children will do well. Ah. You say, but I don't know what they're feeling in school. They are doing one well in video games. That's, they, they are doing one well in Have you not noticed? When they pick up the game, they will play for 10 hours. They get the highest score among their friends. But when they go to math and English in school, zero, zero, zero. It's greatness. Some of you are here, I'm praying for increasing my business. So you make, from, from making 200,000 every month, you make 210,000 every month. Is that not increase? Is that not what you ask for? You must understand that angels are the ones that execute prayer requests. They don't read minds. They respond to words. Angels don't read minds. They respond to words. What did the angel say? He said, I have come. He told Daniel, I have come because of what you have said. He said, Father, I want an accommodation. Someone give and say, ah, no, not that kind. Mm, what you ask for, let me tell you, but many of you must repent. I'm telling you the truth. Because the principle say, that's why verse 24 says, therefore. Why? In verse 23. Go back to verse 23, please. See what Jesus Christ said. You know, 24 is based on 23. Look at what 23 said. 23 say, for I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Jesus was very specific. He didn't say any mountain. He said, this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. He was showing us the principle of specificity in the place of desire, in the place of faith. Until your desire becomes specific, power does not become dynamic. That's how you've been praying all along. You say, you say, you say, you say Father, bless me. Ah, bless me. <laughs> so I'm say, Father, I want favor with my boss. That's great. That's why right now, you now know his house. You drive him everywhere. It may not translate to increasing your job, but you have favor. He, he said, this boy is a good boy in the office. He's a good boy. When they want to promote people, they promote other people. But you are the good errand boy. Because why? You have favor with him. You even drive his wife sometimes. Is that not what you ask? What does he say? He said, he 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 whatsoever you desire. The other part of it is this. And this applies a lot. I will apply it a lot to women. When women are praying about their husband that is misbehaving, most of the time they never pray their desire. They pray their complaints. Father, how will, this man is useless. I don't know what I've done. This is prayer. And this is what the angel is responding to. So they will use, they want to pray for their husband. They will use Maybe out of two minutes, one and a half minutes to tell how terrible he is. Then I say, Lord, just change him. In the law of words, which word has gravity? Whatsoever you desire. Remember, uh, <laughs> whatsoever you desire. When you pray. Whatsoever you desire. When you pray. So the question today is this, what do you desire? Most people, everybody please look up here. I'm not joking with you now. Most people cannot remember today what they prayed about yesterday. And you say it's a desire, you're a joker. If they ask you what did you pray for yesterday, most people, I'm saying 90% of the people that committed in this church that are listening right now cannot remember. It was not a desire. You just prayed what came, it was a wishful thinking as it came to your mind. Very few people have documented things and say these are the things I'm praying for and they will tick it out and tick it out and tick it out. So we, let me tell you something. You don't understand that this thing works like science. This is spiritual intelligence. Sir. You, it, that's why when you see Christians that have no result, it's obvious why they have no result. Because there's a fun part of Christianity, we just enjoy church, yo, 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 yo. No, no, no. More than that, there's something deeper. And you know what I'm talking about. How many of you can tell me, oh, this is the thing I prayed about yesterday. Very few people can say that. They can say, they can remember, they can have an idea of what they prayed about. Question, if you cannot really articulate what you prayed about, when the answer come, how will you recognize it? Is that not the reason why the angel appeared to Zechariah? And say, I've come for your prayers. Zachariah said, which prayer? Because he was no longer living the consciousness of what he prayed for. And because he was going to say nonsense, that will begin to affect the prayer. And God had special interest. He said, you are going to shut up for a season. Because if you begin to talk like this, you will begin to empower demonic spirits to begin to interfere with the process of the prayer. Glory to God. 
You say, I want to grow financially. Financial growth can be from 100,000 to 100,050 kobo. It's also financial growth. And God is faithful. You don't understand how this thing is. These are spiritual laws. Because through your prayer, you open portals and you legalize spiritual influences. So when the angel comes to work, even if he wants to do more than that, he can be held back by a demonic spirit. I say, you can't because he didn't ask for it. Glory to God. He said, Lord, I want to marry. You not marry, I am unhappy. But what you said was you wanted to marry. God is faithful. Whenever that thing came back, ah, I did myself. He said, Lord, I need capital. What is capital? And it's very clear. It's very clear. You read it. Jesus Christ said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, This is, what this does is that this removes, if you start praying this way, you are removed from the, you are removed from the, um, from the religious traditional prayer. Listen, every time Anna went to pray in First Samuel, Anna never even asked for a boy. She said, just give me a child. The year she said, Lord, I want a male child. He said, just help me conceive, just I should conceive. The year she said, I want a male child, I will bring him back next year. That she got that specific that year she could not enter, she could not not get pregnant one of the testimony I mean, i'm not sure if you've seen it on instagram i posted when i gave the word this is another testimony the lady said you skip the word on the third or fourth of august that 30 days you'll get pregnant he said pastor i held it on and i wrote it he said i wrote it that she showed the pictures on instagram he said i wrote it i will get pregnant he said pastor by the time it was 30 days it was fourth of september Nothing had changed. No sign in my body had changed. I went to buy kids to test. He said, I was scared. I was afraid. But I said, I believe this word. And the belief shows in the response. He said, I tested. He said, Pastor, I'm in tears. The lines are double. I am pregnant. When I didn't share the testimony, she wrote me and said, Pastor, please share my testimony. There are barren women that are going through a lot right now. And when you talk about expecting women, um, um, baby, they say, I want to get pregnant. You don't want to get pregnant. You don't know, understand this thing works. It works. With, you want to what? You want to have a child. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. So that's the first principle here. And I mean, if that's all I can say today, you know, I, 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 if that's all I can say, I'll, th that's it. There's a story of Judge Muller. There's a story of Judge Muller. Judge Muller was a man of prayer. And Judge Muller was walking one day and saw a child crying. And he asked the child, why are you crying? And the child said, I want a ball, but my dad will not buy it for me. And Judge Muller said, well, I wish I could buy you a ball, but I can't do that right now. He said, can we pray that God will supply you the ball? See, men of, when, you, when, you, when you have trust in prayer, people will know and be coming to you for prayers. And if you have no faith in your prayer, your prayer cannot work. If you have no faith in your prayer, your prayer, the reason why is that you must remember that prayer works by faith. So Judge Muller said, you know what did Judge Muller say? He said, let's pray. And as I was about to pray, he said, the boy said, oh, thank you. He said, what color ball is it? These are people that no prayers are. He said, what color ball? So that when the ball comes, you will not be saying that it was fluke. The reason why you think that your prayer doesn't work is that it's so broad, when the answer comes, you can't see the hand of God in it. And the reason why people make broad prayers is so that they will not have disappointment. They are afraid it will not happen. So they make a large case so that any way it hits is the same. Already, that request is based on fear. It cannot be honored by heaven. Because in heaven, protocol of prayer, prayer is what is laid on the foundation of faith. And let me say something to you. There's nothing you want to ask God that God did not know you were asking before you thought about it. Glory to God. You will be very clear in your desires. You, you, you have a sales problem. You can't say, Father, grow my business. You, you know what you need in sales business. Lord, I need, I need a sales revenue of 185 million naira. That's what I need. 
You want, you want to do a business? Lord, I want to raise capital of 825 million. That's what I want to do. This next four months, what exactly are you praying? He said, it will be more. What is more? Many of us want to grow spiritually. That's the same thing. What's grow spiritually? George Muller said, tell us. So they prayed. The next week when George Muller was passing by, he saw the boy, boy again. He said, hey, little boy, how are you? He said, I'm very fine, sir. He said, by the way, are you enjoying your ball? <laughs> he, he, he did not even know if he had gotten the ball or not. But because of the power and trust in prayer, he asked the boy, are you enjoying? This is how you know people that have received in prayer. They respond after prayer, not when it is done. And the boy said, yes, I'm enjoying your ball. He now asked the next question. Wow, why not indulge me and tell me how you got the ball? And he said, oh, my father used to have a bookshop. So they had a battle for many years. He went to the bookshop to clean it out and found out that there was a ball in the bookshop they had not sold when it was opening the bookshop. And since <laughs> I've been asking him to buy me a ball, he brought the ball home and it was exactly the same color we prayed for. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above. Ayapoko, lift up your hands, everybody. Lift up your hands, everybody. Say with me, say in the name of Jesus. 2020. My desire over myself, my family, my career, my job. I receive it. Let's go ahead and pray, everybody. Stand on your feet, let's pray. Let's go ahead and pray.